Hello again everyone, I'm Jim, welcome to another video. Uh, going to be covering the Sophos XG105 in this video uh, and turning it into a version 18 software firewall and seeing actually how well it performs. Uh, for those that know, you know what the XG105 is. For those that don't, the XG105 is one of the smaller Sophos units which will start to be appearing probably quite soon on places like eBay um, because they are not so much end of life but they cannot be upgraded to version 18 due to the fact that they come with 2 gig of RAM uh, internally and version 18 requires 4 gig of RAM just to start with. So uh, I've got one and I'm going to upgrade it to 4 gig of RAM and stick the software firewall on it, which makes it ideal for the home license. Um, and uh, we'll see how it performs with version 18 on it. Um, I may even try putting the hardware version on it to see if it will actually load with a license, but uh, we'll see. But yes, this is a uh, test on that. Anyway, onwards. Now to do this upgrade, you are going to require four very simple things. Number one, a screwdriver. Number two, a USB pen with a load of Sophos SFOS version 18. Number three, a four gigabyte stick of memory. And number four, a Sophos XG105. Now the XG105 is one of the smallest Sophos firewalls. Um, below this there was the XG85 which personally uh, the 86 is the current version I would suggest avoiding them um, and find a 105 as the XG85 does not have any form of video out so it does make them a bit awkward to load and they're a lot more restricted so uh, go if you can if you were looking at this XG105s again they're going to start coming up this is only officially supported up to version 17 0.5 by Sophos. So uh, this basically, if you're running version 18 on one of these, you should not do it in production because it is not supported. Right, let's just take the lid off. Right. And there's the lid off um, and as we can see this unit there's not a lot in these um, button battery obviously for the uh, main board to keep the uh, system BIOS alive we have a 2 gig uh, stick of DDR3 1200 yeah um, the system actually runs on a dual core uh, Intel Atom um, and we have a uh, 80 gigabyte solid state drive by Transcend. So uh, quite an interesting mix of hardware. So first things first. Let's swap the memory over. Now I have heard people say that this doesn't work or they couldn't get it to boot. So this will be an interesting thing, but as far as I'm aware, this should work. Put the old two gig stick out the way. And there we go, that's a XG105, hopefully upgraded to four gig of RAM. Let's uh, see if it works. Right, and we are now plugged in and ready to go. Obviously I've got power, I've got VJ, and I've got a keyboard plugged in. And I'm going to hit the power button tucked in there, it goes blue. And what we will hopefully get is a boot. Hi. We do. Let me hit Dell. Right, so there we go, up and running and working booted well we've, at least we've posted with that um where was it i think it's hiding under here and we have four gig of ram so uh it does it is possible to fit four gig of ram into one of these anything hiding in there no there isn't any pci express though i don't think nope good so yes you can boot an xg105 with four gig of ram and interestingly it may still load Let's find out, shall we? 
be interesting to see what it says because it's now out of hardware spec. It has actually booted. Interesting. Well, that's fine. I have. I am now going to attempt to load version 18 software version on this and we'll see what it does. Okay. Pen made. Version 18 software. Let's see what happens. This will either work or it won't. Or I'll have to get a pen and wipe the hard disk like normal. But this is straight off of a hardware license onto software. Let's see what we get. Not the fastest things to boot these little boxes. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's a new one. Detected proper physical software to please get proper installation source. Press Y to reboot. Okay, right, let me um, wipe the hard disk and we'll try again. Well, with some gentle persuasion and a new hard disk, it loads. So we'll see how it performs once it's loaded. But this is loading the software version of version 18 on an XG105 with 4 gig of RAM and a very old solid state that I had lying around, but it'll do the job. Well, we're back and it's working. We now have version 18 on a Sophos XG105 um, and we have had to upgrade the memory to four gig. And because this is revision two hardware, we've had to swap out the hard disk uh, for another solid state, but it's operational and working. Um, I have done a few speed tests on this to see how the system can cope with uh, services off and on. And I'll follow through with that now. Now, as we can see from these graphs, these tests were done here uh, with my internet connection being 300 meg down, 50 meg up, and were all performed using speedtest.net uh, spread out over the sort of course of 10 tests. And these are the averages I recorded. Uh, with nothing turned on in terms of filtering the traffic, so just using the XG as a plain and simple firewall, we achieved 294 meg down and 47 meg up which is about correct on my 300 down 50 meg up internet connection here in the UK. But by turning IPS on, you can see we take a substantial hit on the uh, throughput of traffic. Now I did verify this and it is correct, um, but this is purely and simply due to the fact that IPS is quite a heavy CPU intensive system. And uh, this knocks it down in turn to 31 meg down and 40 meg up. Um, with just the uh, SSL filtering on, uh, that obviously again drops us down to 101 meg, uh, down 46 meg up, which isn't too bad again, CPU limiting that. Um, but interestingly, by turning on both the IPS and the SSL filter, our speeds actually went up, which is quite a surprise, but actually it ties in with the Sophos system working correctly in that uh, the IPS system works with the SSL filtering um, and the SSL filtering on this is a full SSL TLS 1.3 filter so it filters all traffic on all ports and inspects it uh, if you set this up correctly which I was using the certificate correctly on this one but uh, you can see we've achieved 124 meg down and 48 meg up and finally, I turned on uh, Advanced Threat Protection ATP just to see if that would put in any additional load. And it appears to put a small amount of additional load, knocking us down to 114 meg down and 46 meg up. And that, in turn, is about right because, again, it's another system loading up the CPU. But uh, not a bad little firewall at the end. It does seem to uh, perform averagely, but uh, it is only a small atom after all. Well, there we go. Uh, this is the uh, XG105 with version 18 software loading on it uh, using a uh, Sophos XG home license. Uh, the uh, unit seems to behave itself quite well. It's a bit sluggish uh, just due to the fact that the processor is a bit of a limit on this unit. If you are planning on uh, doing this, I would say yes, quite happily recommend the version 18 on a modified uh, XG105. But be aware, yes, the processor will be a limitation. It is struggling with high speeds, uh, obviously on the uh, throughput, just because of the processor more than anything, it's only a baby atom, and it will not 
shift traffic through at the uh, higher rates of its bigger brothers uh, is why Sophos actually stopped supporting it and said obviously didn't want to uh, carry on supporting it obviously the memory being a prime limit but it still works fine in version 17 so again they're going to start popping up on eBay uh, well worth getting hold of one if you just need a small firewall with some advanced features for your home or your home lab um, the IPS solution and combined with the SSL filtering is one of the best in the market, uh, in my opinion, for the price. Uh, you will not sort of really be able to do much better. And the fact is, it is doing a lot of work, all built in, with no having to add in plugins, etc., etc., etc. So uh, there we go. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I'd be uh, grateful to try and get myself a few more subscribers. Uh, this is uh, slowly sort of taking a bit more of my time up just to uh, make sure I can test this stuff. Uh, coming soon, hopefully, will be uh, a bit more focused on the home labby stuff, but I do have some more XGs to uh, start testing with, and uh, I'll do a, hopefully do a few more throughputs. Thank you for watching.